Hi everyone, I'm Sam Wajiri. Thank you so much for joining my weather lessons. All right, the month of April. Wow, it's been a chilly month, a lot of cloudy days, a lot of wet days with showers, and also some days with thunderstorms. And on the days that we've had those storms, we've been rewarded with some beautiful rainbows across Long Island. And especially now as we're all going through this pandemic, I feel like the rainbow has such a special meaning for us, giving us a sign of hope and it makes us smile. And a lot of us are participating in the rainbow hunt where you put a rainbow on your front door and then everyone in your neighborhood can enjoy it and also smile. So today we'll learn all about rainbows and at the end of my quick lesson, we can do a fun little experiment and also a quick activity. So this is a viewer photo. Ali Katowski was at Huntington Hospital cheering on all our healthcare workers. A storm rolled through and look at that, a rainbow of hope over the hospital. So such a special meaning for us right there. All right, what is a rainbow? A rainbow is an arc of colors that appears in the sky opposite of the sun. And the rainbow is made up of a lot of colors. We have red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, and violet. And an easy way to remember that is the name Roy G. Bibb, where every letter in that name stands for the colors of the rainbow. All right, there's a lot here on this slide, but how are rainbows formed? Light from the sun is white, and that white light is made up of all the colors of the rainbow. So the sun makes rainbow when that white light passes through either a raindrop, spray, or mist. So raindrops bend the different colors in the white light, which is all the colors of the rainbow, and then that light spreads out into a band of colors and it's reflected back to us as a rainbow. So that could be a little confusing, but here's a diagram to kind of help you understand it. So the sunshine is behind you. Here's the sunlight, which is the white light made up of all the colors of the rainbow. It bumps into these rainbow, into these raindrops here. It's bent and it's reflected back to us in this band of light, which is the seven colors of the rainbow. And that's how we see a rainbow. All right, a full circle rainbow. Have you ever seen that? It exists, but you have to be high up into the sky and that's how you would see a full circle rainbow. On the ground, we only see half the rainbow because the horizon blocks the rest of it. So airplane pilots can actually spot a full circle rainbow sometimes if they are just passing through a storm or if they're in the right position. How about a double rainbow? We had one of those just last week as the storm rolled on through and that's beautiful as well. Now the inner rainbow is typically brighter and it has red on the top, blue on the bottom. Now if that light gets reflected in the raindrop twice, sometimes you can see an extra rainbow, but the second rainbow is fainter and red is on the bottom with the blue on top, so it's backwards. All right, when is the best time to see a rainbow? The best time is before nine o'clock in the morning or four o'clock in the afternoon, and that's when the sun angle is lower in the sky, and that's what allows that arc, the rainbow arc of colors, to be higher in the sky and better for us to see. So this is in Long Beach, and I took this photo after a storm rolled through. It was about five o'clock in the afternoon. You can see the rainbow, and then the double rainbow faint there as well. So if it has recently rained, or if it's still raining, but the sunshine is shining, you can see a rainbow. And typically, we most often see them in the spring or the summer. When you get these fast storms rolling through, it's raining, and then 15 minutes later, it's sunny, and as the storm moves away, voila, it's magic. We get a rainbow. Okay, so now it's time to have some fun. We'll head downstairs, do a quick experiment and activity. Okay, so here's a little fun experiment you can do at home. If you have a CD or maybe a prism and just a flashlight, we can make our own rainbow. So let's pretend the flashlight is sunlight, which is white light. So we'll take our sunlight or flashlight, shine it into the CD, which can be a raindrop. And there you go, the white light bends and it reflects to you as a rainbow with all of the colors. You can see it there and kind of move it around a little bit. We can get a rainbow on the bottom too. And here's a fun little activity you could do. You could make your own rainbow and watch it grow. Uh, just grab a little paper towel, whether you want to just make a strip or in the shape of a rainbow. And then with a marker, you use the colors of the rainbow on the bottom. You dip it in water and through time, it will grow. takes a while, but if you hold it or if you have a clip, 
The rainbow will eventually meet in the middle of the paper. Well, that's it for today. I hope learning all about rainbows and having some fun put a smile on your face, and I will see you guys next time.